गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स टुडे प्रोफेसर एस एम तोले सर वॉज काइंड इनफ टू शेयर पेशेंट्स डिटेल्स दैट हैड कम टू हिज ओ पी डी रिसेंटली सो बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द डिस्कशन अबाउट द एक्सरेस ऑफ दिस पेशेंट आई जस्ट वॉन्टेड टू कन्वे टू द स्टूडेंट्स दैट द बोन इज अ लाइफ स्ट्रक्चर विच हैज रिपिटेटिव Uh, repair and remodeling that continuously happens throughout uh, the life of a person so uh, the metabolism of the calcium and uh, the control of calcium metabolism uh, by a vitamin d and other hormones is quite important so whatever calcium we uh, ingest is usually absorbed from the gut with the uh, control of uh, vitamin d so whenever there is a vitamin d deficiency either due to uh, less sunlight exposure or uh, uh, improper uh, intake of uh, vitamin d there is a very uh, disastrous condition that can happen uh, in children which is known as rickets and in adults it's known as uh, osteomalacia it was quite uh, common to have uh, Uh, such conditions in the children and in the growing age these children might uh, present to us with uh, deformities around the knee around the hip uh, multiple joint pains and uh, usually with uh, good treatment of vitamin d and uh, supplements of calcium there will be good uh, recovery that uh, can occur in these uh, children so with this uh, small introduction uh, i would like to uh, invite professor asan tuli sir sir will give a brief history about uh, this particular child that presented to him sir what were the main complaints that the child or the parents uh, had uh, regarding this particular case sir the parents came that the child is walking with something like knock knees you know in lay terminology genu valgum it's considered as knock knees but well, uh, looking at the child the child is not walking like other children of his age so when the patient presented to me i find that there is a genu valgum deformity and i thought we must take an x ray generally when you think of generalized conditions related to bones and joints it is wise to take an x ray of the pelvis so we asked for an x ray sort of screening if possible x ray ap pelvis with both hips and ap both knees standing and one can see the changes which are present in the bones of a growing child as mentioned earlier do keep it in mind bone is a living structure every day some bone is resolved every day some bone is replaced this is what is happening to the bone 24 hours every day the whole life of a person this is where it is superior to the metal metal cannot do it metal under stress will only accumulate fatigue they accumulate fatigue and that is how many metals ultimately go fatigue accumulation and fatigue fractures whereas bone even if it undergoes fatigue if we if the person is in on healthy diet healthy environments that fatigue gets repaired by reformation this is called, this whole thing is called bone turnover bone resorption is considered an osteoclastic activity bone formation is considered an osteoblastic activity and they a healthy bone maintains the balance between osteoblastic and osteoclastic activity if you look at the x-rays of this patient you can see if we uh, look at the knee joint is a very typical active rickets that would be their diagnosis but what are we looking what are we seeing look at the growth plate it seems that the growth plate has widened it is thicker than the normal growth plate one thing the second is 
that the metaphyseal area is expanded. It is called cupping, flaring, this is what they call. Why the growth, growth plate looks widened or thicker? Growth plate forms bone, adds it towards the metaphyseal part. If there is a deficiency in osteoblastic activity, the growth plate is forming the matrix, but it is not being mineralized. So, it appears that the growth plate has become thicker or wider. And that is how the metaphyseal area becomes cup-shaped. Same changes you can see in this particular patient when we look at his hip joint. Another thing which you can watch here, look at the cortices. They are very thin cortices. And again, cortices would be thick only if the health of the bone is good or the nutritional status is good. So these are the things which are visible here. Active nutritional records in a child giving rise to a genome welcome deformity. So, uh, as Sir said, uh, whenever you order uh, x-rays of the uh, knee, when you suspect a case of uh, metabolic uh, disorder or uh, uh, rickets that is happening, you look at the uh, alignment of the knee joint, you look at the physis, you look at the health of the physis, and uh, uh, you look at the uh, health of the metaphysis, like whatever loading that is happening on that uh, physis, whether it is transmitted normally or abnormally onto the metaphysis. So, as Sir said, uh, the physis appears quite wide because the zone of calcification is uh, no longer normal in this case. You see a very uh, weak and unhealthy physis in this uh, child. The metaphysis due to the uh, unwanted loading that is happening, it uh, tends to uh, flare up uh, like that. And uh, uh, one more thing is the genu valgum deformity that you uh, see in these uh, cases. So, these things are understood uh, from the x-ray of the knee. So, uh, sir, uh, once you have uh, examined the knee of the patient, so do you want to leave the child alone and start on treatment uh, uh, for the rickets uh, straight away or do you want any more investigations that you have to uh, no, see, sir? This patient, I, mean, I, I will certainly like to see an x-ray of his pelvis and we, we should do the investigation of the child regarding nutritional status and the kidney function. Sir, uh, yeah. Almost similar findings are present in this x-ray of the pelvis, but there is something unusual here. We'll put an arrow at the loser zone on the inferior border of the left femoral neck. This loser zone is visible in this particular child, not a very common thing in children though it is a very common thing in, in patients with osteomalacia in adults. So again one can see widening of the growth plate, cupping of the metaphyseal area. In this particular patient there is not much of deformity of the femoral neck but we can have a deformity. In this particular patient you are able to see a looser zone in the inferior border of the femoral neck on the left side. So, uh, in this uh, child, you know that uh, the metabolic uh, derangement is already there. Uh, either it is a vitamin D deficiency or uh, excessive calcium that is being removed from the bone uh, to maintain the serum uh, calcium levels. So, uh, in this particular case, when you have uh, such sort of a loser zone, uh, would you advise a fixation in this patient or uh, would you like to observe uh, with treatment? Uh, of vitamin D and calcium alone? Almost all childhood active rickets, they heal by giving suitable supplements like vitamin D, calcium, nutritious diet, exposure to sunlight as possible. Within about six months time, almost all these things would heal. Most of the deformities also recover. However, these patients must be kept under observation regarding the deformity. I think the family has to be explained that the nutrition of the child has to be has to be has to be as as good as possible.
So basically it is vitamin D, calcium, protein, sun ray exposure. So uh, considering the last uh, two years that we had uh, um, uh, pretty much of lockdowns and uh, schools being shut down, children are uh, mostly uh, confined to their homes, uh, more of uh, online teaching and even uh, indoor games have become uh, taken a lot of uh, uh, part in their lives. Uh, sunray exposure is quite low. So these kind of uh, findings and complaints and uh, x-ray images are uh, going to be quite uh, commonly uh, presented to your OPD. So such findings uh, you should be able to identify. Always whenever you think about a deformity of the knee, always just get a pelvis uh, AP x-ray also which gives a lot of uh, uh, points uh, to you because in children you know that any pain around the hip usually the child can complain a pain around the knee alone so there can be some issues that can be uh, happening at the hip level as with, as uh, as such so uh, sir just wanted to share with us that uh, uh, even though loser's zones are quite common in osteomalacia even uh, the same can happen in children as well and you should be well aware of uh, the treatment for such uh, fractures that is uh, you just need to give them adequate uh, supplements of vitamin D, uh, sun ray exposure and the children do very well and recover quite soon. Anything else you want to add? Yes, Thank you for your uh, patient uh, listening and uh, that was a wonderful example that uh, Professor Asantoli uh, wanted to share with us. Thank you sir.